Hello YouTube, and welcome back to the Vinnie G channel. A channel about everything and a channel about nothing. If you're here, it means you've either found the video on your life's travels through YouTube, trying to find out about a problem, or trying to fix a problem. Or you've linked from the original video. So I'm basically making this video to follow up on what I said, because if you have a look in the comments of that section, there's some people and, and it's not their fault, it's not people's fault. I must remember that when I'm making a video, it, it's on a global scale and there's probably people that don't understand my English or the way I, I try to project things or come across. What I'm gonna show you is the procedure. I'm not actually going to do it because I don't need to do it. Like I said, it got rid of mine. It's as simple as that. Now, um, I must emphasize that if you, your problems do persist, to go and see a doctor, obviously. I never had to. I was lucky, maybe, but so were all the other people that tried this and left comments, real good comments, in the original video. Here it is, folks. Not this bucket, but a bucket of similar type is what you need. Now, this is an industrial grade bucket. It can hold fat boys weight here so that was one of the things you need a good bucket now your garlic half a piece of garlic means a shitload of cloves a heap of cloves like this skin them peel them whatever you do then chop them up in small pieces and put them in the bucket now to do this, you must understand that the bucket's going to be on the floor because you're going to be sitting on it with your bum's cheeks spread. So you want to keep this reaction going as long as possible. So understanding the thermal dynamics of heat and cold helps a little bit. So I highly suggest you put a towel under the bucket and that stops the water from cooling down too quick gives you more time on the bucket and it will help you get better. So, when doing this, you have got the kettle boiling, you're in your underpants, and I highly suggest that when you do this, you maybe go in the laundry or the garage even, because the smell that comes off the garlic is like the worst pizza garlic you've ever eaten in your life. It is just so strong. It is unbelievable what comes out of it. So, grab the kettle. You're in your underwear. Fill the bottom of the bucket with water. Maybe that much water. One centimetre. Put the bucket down. Drop your pants. Spread your bum cheeks. Sit on it and stay there until the water's cold. Repeat it two or three times if you have to. That is the procedure. I had to make this video to explain myself a bit better. But, before you do this, have a shower, clean the area well. I know it might hurt, but you need to start off clean. Don't put anything on it. Have your garlic ready, do it as fresh as possible, and then sit on the bucket. Once you've set on the bucket, then the other form of pain relief, which was pain relief only, it didn't make the problem go away, was maybe a moisturizing cream to stop the chafing. But only do that after you've done the steam treatment and that will get you going and you will see you will get better I mean you only have to look at the comments in the first video and see what I'm talking about now I have looked at other videos on YouTube some that suggest I ate garlic and it cured my hemorrhoids and stuff like that but you've got to remember that when you're eating something it goes in your body and it goes through your digestive tract and all the goodness stays in your body but it takes a lot longer to work if you're going to rely on just eating garlic to get rid of your hemorrhoid it really is because you have an area 
where there's a problem already and you're going to keep passing poo number one which is going to aggravate the area and that's why as an external treatment this is more direct to the area and it will get you on your way to getting better that's all I can say but like I do, I do state if your problem persists and the symptoms are still there do see a doctor I would also like to thank the lovely comments the thumbs up the views and everything left on that original video because I was just sharing a story of my life and I certainly don't want to be remembered as the butt man of YouTube um, but like I said I felt the need to explain the procedure as at first I was laughing at some of the comments just humorously you know but then I thought no these people do have a problem so I will make this video just to explain myself that's all the video is for nothing else nothing more nothing less I thank you very much for watching my videos for subscribing to me for even just leaving a comment saying hello the thumbs up the thumbs down it it's all part of me sharing one of my journeys in life to hopefully tell people that there are other alternatives and it takes away this this will take away maybe the embarrassment of going to the doctors and and things like that because I look it can be embarrassing it just everybody's different everybody has different le levels of um, what would you say um, embarrassment but I know that when I produced myself at the hospital with my problem yeah I've got all these guys staring at my asshole uh, it just didn't you know when when this procedure was, was explained to me it was a godsend it really was so thank you for watching I, I really really thank you for the comments for all the thumbs up and everything that came along with that video and like I said this is for you to get better thank you very much see you on the next one